first guest to the show. He writes for Geico Honda. He came oh so close to a podium this weekend. Uh, it's Jet Lawrence. What's up, Jet? How are you, man? Nothing much. Just chilling, dude. Bro, you were so close to a podium. You, Indiana was so close. You got to be just dying right now. It's coming. It's coming, but just not yet. Yeah, it's uh, it's, <laughs> it's getting a little annoying. I'm just so close. It's like just an arm reach away. But, um, yeah, it's just got taken away from me again. But, yeah. Um, no, it is what it is. Yeah, it happens, right? Yeah, exactly. Like I feel like it's close, and you got to you got to know that too. You're riding very well. Thank you, thank you. You're 17, and this is the first time you've been in America racing, and it's the learning curve was steep, obviously. But I feel like, you know, you've kind of gotten the hang of it. Like from the first race, there, there were a couple of mutters, everything else. Do you feel more comfortable at this point? Yeah, it's obviously good to not have a bit of a mutter race. So. Um... Yeah, I'm starting to settle in now. I'm starting to like kind of everyone has their type kind of place in the in the whole field and that stuff. So I'm starting to I'm still trying to find my place, but um, I definitely feeling like my place is up front in the top three or the top five. But um, no, I'm definitely starting to settle in good, which is I feel like I can still go faster. I'm uh, I'm still learning that stuff, so it's it's gonna be good. Mm -hmm. Um, all right. So I guess let's start with this. What'd you do in between races in South Bend? What'd you do? I went and played 18 holes of golf Saturday and Sunday. Wow. Hmm. Jeez. Okay. And didn't, and didn't, and didn't get better. Yeah. So. What, what'd you shoot? <laughs> oh, I, I was counting at the start, <laughs> but then I was kind of going like, five hits over par and then i kind of lost it like dude it was not going well my like my clubs were going further than the ball a few oh, times no, so no. it oh. was it was not a good one i'm i uh i was talking to g the other day he's he i heard he's really good at golf so um once i get back to cali i asked him if he can do an hour of training with me yeah, <laughs> for yeah. golf because <laughs> it's not looking pretty <laughs> Oh man, what what got you into golf? What what made you want to try it? Um, well, I went to Top Golf, and I kind of, like the first time I went was for uh, Monster Cup, and um, I was ter I was terrible. My autistic brother was hit the ball better than me. That's how bad I was. <laughs> okay. And then I ended up going for Hunter's birthday because he started to get into it a little bit. Yep. And then I had. I got kind of got to Jason Anderson was there and, and uh, Lucas Myrtle and and you know Luke's a real big golfer guy and yep. uh, Jason's really good at golf also so they got to like kind of help me out a bit. I was holding the club like a baseball bat, like just full <laughs> rip where I didn't know how you kind of like interlock your pinky and uh, point like point a finger and that stuff. So I'm, I'm starting to learn the basics, but. That's what kind of got in, like, got me into it. And then for my birthday, I ended up going to a go uh, golf course with Jason, Dino, and me, mm -hmm. and Hunter. Sorry, and I, I had a blast. It was fun. Like, it's just a cool. It's nothing too crazy. We get to do something. It's yeah. just relaxing. You don't see too and, many. Uh, I got yeah, really into it. You don't see too many seventeen-year-olds into golf. That's all. No, no. It's better than chasing chicks, though. Around yet? Easy. It's better than that. It's not that bad. Yeah, it just takes. You know, yeah. that, that's a lot of work doing that so yeah i, I tried that it did, that's why i've gone to golf and i've tried enough right, right, right. <laughs> um so two two days of 18 holes oh god yeah so but you had to rent a cart right you didn't walk it did you no i rented yeah. a cart dude i was uh on the second day at mizzled rain a bit and <laughs> i was trucking donuts on like <laughs> on off cambered grass and that stuff i'm pretty sure that Proper golf people weren't happy, but I was, I was, yeah. I didn't care. I was having fun. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. Did you find, I mean, you're young, you're in shape and all that. Did you find Red Bud 2 like a little bit tougher than Red Bud 1 just because of the short break and the, and the 36 holes of golf? Did you find it tougher at all or no? No, I, the first motor I pushed harder than I probably ever have, and I still came in good. Yep. Like, I was, <laughs> I was pissed about that. I came in, I could still have a, have a mouthful of words to say after because I was so pissed that I got third when I was so close to first. Right, but, um, right. Yeah, it's the first one ain't, it isn't really a problem. Right. 
Yeah, you know what? Some of the guys told me that the track – and you, you don't have a lot of experience on Red Bud, obviously, but some of the guys told me mm-hmm. there was like an inside and an outside line, and it wasn't that rough, and everyone was going really fast, and it was super hard to pass on. To me, it looked rough as balls, Jet, uh, but did you find it kind of like that, like hard to pass and very fast? Um, well, it's obviously – it's not hard to pass because Dylan was able to make his way all, all the way through to – yeah. Yeah. Top five again, but um, for me, yeah, it was. You really had to uh, plan your passes. Where I struggled a bit because I was kind of doing more of an amateur pass, and I would try and pass them every single turn, which would screw me over. Right. But um, no, the track track was fairly rough. Okay. It was pretty rough. We had those few kickers, but I was in a lot of spots. It was kind of gotten fast because a more open section, but it, it was pretty decently. It was a bit of a decent rough. Okay. Um, so your style and technique, it's unique for me when I watch you ride, um, first moto on uh, Monday, you know, you're like, you're saying you're pissed off and you're right there. And, and when you're in that situation and you're, you're battling, you're going back and forth and you're that close to, to winning, does your technique just go out the window and you don't give a shit and you're like, fuck it, I'm just going to send it. Or are you still concentrating to, to use your technique? Cause it looks like it's very controlled still when you're battling. Well, I think my technique is this, like, muscle memory kind of thing. Like, it's you've done it for so long in training days, so many hours of that same technique that, like, it's a muscle memory. You just you do the exact same thing, but just a little faster, kind of, like. You still obviously have you still those few sketchy moments because you're going fast and you're not used to going sprinting that hard. You're not really comfortable in that yet. But, yeah, I feel like my technique is just muscle memory. So, I guess I kind of stay neat without even realizing <laughs> did there's did someone that you were you know you grew up watching that you admired and their technique um the person that was winning <laughs> 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 i was that kid <laughs> um no i really i liked uh brian villapoto style like off the back yeah i always wanted to have his style but i'm kind of like that but then again i'm not um i like because you can tell like you watch hunter you watch jet right yeah. right to me it's opposite hunter yeah. is a little bit f- more forward jet's a little bit more off the back yeah maybe it's the size i well, don't know no 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 so I, I both of the lawrence brothers came into studio in salt lake city mm-hmm. and i said to jet how much taller are you than hunter and they're the same height oh really yes which but no you, that what? sorry to correct you yeah it has changed i am i am now taller than hunter <laughs> Okay, so in a couple of months that I'm, changed, or we just didn't know that back then. <laughs> no, it actually I was the same height as him, but then the other day <laughs> I had shoes on, but I was six foot. Okay, but I had shoes on, so I would have been like five eleven, where he's still five ten. Okay, all right. Well, it's funny because he looks taller yes. than five eleven. Jet hangs off the back. Yes. It looks like he has longer legs. It looks like he's taller. He's able to put the bike, you know, different spots. Yeah. All of that. Yeah. So I'm, I'm with you on that. Yeah, Hunter. Hunter's got like J Mart's legs. Yeah. And then I got like Benny Boss legs. <laughs> like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's my true, legs yeah. are long out. <laughs> hey, did you go over to go see Stu? Did you see him? Stu. Yeah. Oh, I think. On oh, at the end of the day, I kind of went over and like acted cool, kind of thing. Like I asked how Chase was, so I was like kind of playing it cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job. <laughs> he, he spoke. A, he spoke a bit. He asked how I went. I was like inside. I was like a little kid in the candy shop, but I'm like trying to play it cool. Like yeah, yeah. Like yeah, you know, James. Like, no. Just another day at the office, hey, James, huh, James? Do it. Oh. <laughs> That's so awesome. It's not like he's done anything great in the day. No. Yeah, yeah. No, it was definitely really cool to see him. But the funny story was. At the start of the day, when I seen him, I'm like, why is Malcolm here? Because <laughs> <laughs> he had the long hair, but then yeah. he turned around, I'm like, holy crap, that's James. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. That's the first time I've really seen him. So it was pretty cool to kind of like, I've got to meet Ricky, and yeah. now I've got to meet James, like two of the, one of the, most, like two of the biggest legends in kind of yeah. in motocross. So yeah, yeah. Pretty cool. Imagine if James would have just like came to you and you just blew him off. You just like kept walking. You're just like, yeah, whatever. It's just like see you later. Yeah, I don't think I could blow him off like that, but I right. I know I kind of like to. I'm that kid. I don't really show much emotion with excitement. When I meet like a select, like a really big guy or anything. 
Yeah. I kind of like to. I, I'm more of an like natural type of person. Like, yeah. Um, don't go too crazy. So I probably like. I guess it's really annoying getting a whole lot of kids that go up to you and then just are being crazy. So I try to just act normal like they're a normal person. But like sure. on the inside, I'm really like it's a privilege to be able to meet like a legend like him and Ricky. Yeah, for sure. Seven zero two five eight six Pulp. If you got a question for Jet Lawrence from Geico <laughs> Honda, seven zero two five eight six seven eight five seven. Give us a call. Uh, Jet Lawrence will take your call. Um, so Jet, something that I hear from a lot of people in their first years here is the American practice systems. Obviously, you did you did, you raced over in Europe for a little bit. It is uh, like two laps, green flag, and just ride your balls off, basically. And you're just like trying to still figure the track out. Does that is that affecting you at all? Um, it's obviously a little uh, difficult, but in the first practice, obviously, when I'm trying to learning the track, I just make sure I follow someone like on the – on Friday, I went and followed Justin Cooper. Okay. I know he's been here, jumped all the jumps. So I was, I followed him, and it was pretty easy because most of the jumps were pretty wide open to hit. So, yep. But um, it's definitely difficult from Europe because Europe you could kind of take your time. But um, no, it's uh definitely you definitely have to be on it and be able to put that lap down fast while the track's flat before anyone else does. Did you think about eyeing up the leap? How close did you come to doing the leap? Oh, dude, every – in the second motor of Friday, I thought about it every lap. Like, I've seen everyone start to do it. I, even Amart, I've seen. I'm like, oh, you got to Bro, see, he's on a Suzuki and he's 30 <laughs> he years – said I got to be kidding He's 30 me. years hey, old and on a Suzuki. That, that Suzuki is not a bad buy. I rode it in Europe. And I have to admit, I do have a bit of a soft spot for a Suzuki. <laughs> okay, all right. So all right. not a bad bike. Right. But I eyed it up so many times. Like, every, like, I would come out, turn off the back. I'm, like, wide open. I'm, like, oh, no. And I kept backing out. So I was, like, thinking in the back of my head. I don't want to – I heard if you case it, you can easily blow out a wheel or something. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to case it, blow out a wheel, and then that's my race done. So right. I was, like, I'd rather lose a few – tense there and try and gain it somewhere else and sure. get a pass on or something like that. But it's definitely hard to try and watch someone in front of you trying to pass, go and leap that thing and then just gain a second on you. It's like, yep. Mm. So <laughs> make life harder. <laughs> take us through the crash. You're behind master pool. He's, he gets uh, yeah. What what did you it's, say to him? Did you say anything to him? Did you say motherfucker or did you say, Hey, hope you're good. What'd you say? Well, okay, I came in the turn, so I had a really nice line where I could charge in. I was kind of hoping to charge in on the inside of him and surprise him, and he ended up coming across. I tried braking. You can see on the V, I, I nose manual into his bike. I'm doing the nose manual thing again, so you know <laughs> yeah, what's exactly. Um, and up front, but uh, he went and grabbed his leg, and you'd think another person would be pissed, but me, out of everyone else, it, I'm, I, I go. I, I ask him, "Are you okay?" <laughs> and I go and help. Move. Like I didn't know I wanted to move because he's kind of in the way of getting my bike up. So I go and like lightly get his leg and kind of help him to get sit back up. So I'm like, "You good? You good?" He's like, "Yeah." So I went and picked my bike up. But it's funny. I feel like most people would go and yell at him, but yes. I'm like, "Oh, right." It was. It wasn't really like. He obviously crashed, but it was just bad luck. I was there in the wrong time. So, like, it was anyone's fault. He wasn't really going in there thinking, okay, I'm going to crash and then wreck his and right. make my bike go in front of him. So, it's, it's bad luck. It just sucks. But, yeah, I end up making sure he's okay. I'm like, you okay, dude? You good? You good? Yeah. And he's holding his leg. So, I'm like, crap, I need to move you. I quickly moved your leg. I'm like, <laughs> and he went and hop, like helped him back up, like kind of hey. get a, out of the way, and I quickly went. But no, he, he came up uh, after the race and came up. Him and his dad, and, oh, that's uh, cool. Came up and said sorry. So no, I definitely respect him. Obviously, at first I got to meet his dad in like 2019 yep. when I was at Minos, and he was really nice. But obviously, like that was competition. But uh, no, I have respect for him now to come up and apologize, saying, "Dude, I was." You uh, didn't mean to crash like in front of you, so I, I have respect for him now. But most people won't really do that; no. they'll just kind of leave it alone. 
you should have grabbed the Yamaha and jumped the leap. That's what you should have done. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, yeah. Hey, Ty, let me try this son of a bitch out real quick. <laughs> yeah. I'll bring it right yeah. back. <laughs> stay here. I'll be yeah, back right. in one lap. I'll be back in a lap. <laughs> Yeah, just stay here. I just want to feel it out, you know. Just, just uh, yeah, just check it out. Stay here. I'll be back. Uh, you can Ver- ride the Honda if you want. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Vertex Pistons bringing you Jet Lawrence on the show. Sales at PivotWorks.com. Two-stroke and four-stroke Pistons. Uh, email sales at PivotWorks.com. <laughs> Vertex Pistons. Um, yeah, Jet, uh, you definitely uh, – it's been impressive for you. And, you know, this whole thing with Hunter, like – He's got a bad shoulder, you know, like, I mean, he's got to just be hating life right now in this competition between you two. He, he, it's not even a fair yeah. fight right now. Yeah, he is. He's, um, sorry, he's one of the most toughest dudes I know out there riding. Like he's ridden in with a broken hand, like a broken bone in his hand, like at Ottobiana, like mm-hmm. then having the shoulder that's been popped out recently, freaking one tough dude. I have to give it to him, but, um, Yep. Yeah, in the in the second one, I didn't know he crashed, and the guys came and lapped him, and I yep. seen him in front, and I wasn't pulling him in, so I thought he was there in, like, mm-hmm. six or something. I'm like, I, I even felt more pissed off about myself. I'm like, dude, he just had his shoulder popped out, like, a few weeks ago, and he's beating it in front of me, holding pace. I'm like, it's not okay. Yeah. This is not okay <laughs> right now. <laughs> so I was like... At, at one point, I'm like, this is sick for him. But then again, I'm like, no, this is not good. <laughs> he yeah. had his shoulder popped out a few days, like a few weeks ago. So this is not okay. <laughs> yeah, he uh, he's actually keeping the pace pretty good. Like, he kind of let j go, you know what better, I mean? Yeah. And, and he was keeping it pretty good, uh, considering he was getting lapped, right? Like, it's tough to do, so. Yeah. Um, like, in the first one when j crashed, Hunter stayed behind him for the most thing. But I think he was, wasn't was sure if he should pass him or – Make, like yeah. let him go because of the points and that stuff. But did did you see Barsha's move on Marv? Did you watch it back? Oh, uh, yeah. Did you want to do that to RJ <laughs> when he got you back for second there near the end? I want to do that on every corner. To <laughs> RJ. Okay, good. Got it, Roger. Uh, dude, if, if it wasn't for the race, dude, I would go. I would line up next to him and just angle my bike to the left, so I'd go straight in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, 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 it's funny. I'm always giving him crap. Like before the second race, I going up to him like, uh-huh. dude, I w- if I didn't make it, mess up my last lap, I would have smoked you. You suck. You hit a tree, you goon. You goon. And then he goes, you want to fight? I'll <laughs> fight you right now on the side. Like it's funny. We always give each other crap. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, that, that is good. Um, hey, uh, so on our show, when you came into our show uh, in Salt Lake City, you remember that? Yep. So you called. We got free snacks. You got free snacks. Yeah, you cleaned me out at the at the hotel. <laughs> that was funny. Bar. Um, <laughs> so you called McAdoo Whackers on the show, right? Yes. I just want you to know <laughs> that other people are now calling him Whackers. You have started something, Whackers. both of you. Yes, yes. It's a good name for him. Like, he's. <laughs> Real, like I like him. He's a nice dude, but dude, when he rides, it matches his name. Uh, yeah, I would he, have to agree. Yeah, one. I gotta give it to him. He gives it one hundred percent. He does. I yes. have respect for him. He gives it one hundred percent all the time. Whackers. Well, you started Whackers, and now like on his Instagram, it's it. People are hitting him up, calling him Whackers or hashtag Ram it, Whackers. It's Ram all it, hashtag <laughs> Whackers. It just yeah. So. You you may have to do Either some explaining. Either wackers or wackadoo. Well, yeah, one of the two, right? Wackadoo. So yeah, uh, you are uh, you are responsible for that. I just want you to know that. Yeah, I- I'm proud to be at the uh, name of the creator of that name. Uh, I was calling that when he was on Geico still. <laughs> <laughs> nice, I like it. Uh, all right, Jet. Well, hey, thank you for uh, calling in, man. I appreciate it. Uh, good job. Enjoy the weekend off. That podium is coming. Yeah, Maybe- keep the keep up the fun. Like, I like Jet I think, because he's fun. I think he only knows fun. And, but the, here's the thing that I'm worried about. What? I hope Feld doesn't overdo Jet, where people get burned out on Jet. Do you understand? Uh, the donuts, the hot. Just yeah, everything yeah, Jet. Yeah, like, yeah, let's yeah, just yeah. a little bit, pump the brakes just a bit. Right. So we don't get sick of Jet because he's a good kid. Right. Right? Okay. That's, yeah. my, that's my thoughts. Hey, dude, I love the donut thing. I got donuts. Donuts at Loretta's. I had uh, this person assigned donut uh, goggles for donuts. <laughs> and I got two like full two dozens uh, of donuts, and then at Iron Man, a buddy that bought Hunter's C10 truck re- like wheels and tires uh-huh. came and bring me these killer donuts, dude. Like 
remind me of Australia in that. So I, I love the donut thing, man. I'm getting donuts every weekend. I'm <laughs> If nice. I have a bad day, I just have a few donuts and right. I'm, I'm good to go. <laughs> we we had to laugh in Salt Lake because at one time, Ralph, the Supercross announcer, Craig is in another heat race than you. And Ralph's like, Christian Craig, second place, teammate of the Lawrence <laughs> brothers. <laughs> teammate of the Lawrence brothers. I'm like, oh, my God, Ralph, calm down. Right. Calm down, Ralph. So we, 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 that was a good. How one. many times I lo- I love it. How many times you bring up the walk and the alligator? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly right. No, I know. It's, he loved that. He does. He he loves himself. Both these some orange oh, brothers. Right, well, Ralph. when you're over 18, we'll come back on the show. We'll talk about glazed donuts on another ep- You know, another oh, section okay. of this. Yeah, yeah, another section. You're not 18 yet, so we can't talk about it. But we will eventually. Okay. Well, sounds good. <laughs> okay. Uh, Thanks, uh, thanks, I Jeff. Know, I don't know what you mean with that, but okay. Yeah, just run with it. Uh, <laughs> hey, thanks, with it. thanks for coming on. I appreciate it. I know, you know, there's no more media blackout. I told Myrtle I was very happy. There's no more media blackout for Mertz. So, you know, <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're all good, right? Sweet. Nah, thanks for having me on, boys. No problem. Thank you, Jet. I'll talk thanks, soon, Jet. man. Thank you. Later. All right, see ya. That's Jet Lawrence, everybody, brought to you by VertexPistons.com. For sales at PivotWorks.com. You want a deal on a piston kit? Go ahead. Hunter's out.